As more businesses get the okay to open back up, they're going to do so in a very different world. Now, Casey Lund is live this morning looking at best practices for cleaning and disinfecting. Casey. Hey, good morning, Grace. Yeah, we're here with Premier Restoration Hawaii, the cleaning pros. We want to give them a, a quick shout out. Premhi, P-R-E-M-H-I dot com. And not just to hire them. Really, they have a wealth of, of knowledge and resources on their website. They can help you build sort of a checklist and, and tell you how much uh, and how often to clean. Um, we're talking about, we, we talked about home spaces. We talked about the tools that you guys use. Now we're in sort of a commercial space, an office setting that mm -hmm. most of us, uh, I want to introduce Anthony Nelson, a chief commercial officer. Most of us, Anthony, are pretty familiar with cleaning our keyboard, our phone, Walk me through some of the things in a commercial space that maybe we don't think about cleaning so much as I, as I work through uh, cleaning our desk here. Absolutely. So the, the things that you're probably not thinking about are going to be, you know, your shared office equipment, copiers, fax machines. Um, in addition to that, any of your alarm panels, uh, TV remotes, you know, the coffee maker, the water cooler, those things get touched by multiple people throughout the day. Elevator buttons. And elevator buttons, that's right. And so we've unplugged the phone here so we don't accidentally dial 911 or one of your customers. But we're cleaning and then we're disinfecting, right? That and that's correct. even one step beyond just using your normal Clorox wipes, correct? Correct. Uh, tell me a little bit about uh, how often people should really be doing and working. You should build a checklist. If you don't have a cleaning company, right, you should have your staff or your employees or even at your home a checklist built, right? That's correct. And so you're going to want to clean your key touch points at least once a day. And then it, we always recommend a deep cleaning weekly. So the things that you're touching frequently and often, you would do those once a oh. day. And then it, just do a solid deep clean every week. Very good. I mixed up my, uh, my rags here. Last question before we go. If people want to start uh, really focusing on cleaning the home, uh, where can they go for, for resources? And, and we're going to be talking about this throughout the morning as well, especially if they have someone in the home that has COVID-19. So the CDC website is going to be very good if you have employees. The OSHA website has been awesome as well. And then our own website. We've, got, we've done our best to put together a list of key touch points that you can build from. Very good. Anthony, thank you so much for being with us. Lots more to go over here at uh, Premier Restoration Hawaii. We'll check back in with you in a little bit. Grace? All right. Thanks, Casey.